She got a new tattoo yesterday. They're calling it a mother-daughter tattoo. Do you care to describe your tattoo? It has two hearts and three stars. Okay, what are the hearts and the stars? Well, the purple one is my mom's. The red one is my sister's. And the orange one is mine. And the heart is just... Like, the mother and daughter. Yeah. So it's the mom, the two daughters, and then, then the mother and daughter, or for you and your mom. Yes. So you're so you and your mom's in this twice. Yep. Got it. Hey, good morning, guys. Yes, I did not record yesterday because it was damn super cold. Snow globe, random snow globe. So, it's, but it was just a solid, steady wind. Just and then it was like a little bit of rain, then a snow globe all around you, then the snow globe would go away, but the wind was still there, and it just cut through me like nothing else. So mentally, I was like a, a bear going into hibernation, man. I wasn't even trying to be a kind of creative, no nothing, because, yeah, I couldn't deal with it. Of course, I was on the lift gate, going up and down the lift gate, pushing these heavy-ass pallets everywhere dealing with people it was just too much and then and then have to stay up late to you know put the video together that'd be just too much and I wanted to go to bed at a normal time I went to bed at like 11:30, midnight yeah so what's today Friday doing it's it's, there's slight, still a slight little breeze going on out there, but it's a lot, lot warmer than it was. <sighs> well, at least it feels a lot warmer because you don't got the wind just, you know, blowing on you. And also today, Dottie, Christina's mom, is going back to Ohio. She catches the A train later on this afternoon. I was told yesterday that I don't have to take her to the train, so I guess she's taking a cab or Uber, bus, I don't know how she's getting there. No, Angelina's coming today, right? Yeah, she's supposed to be here. Oh, well, yeah, my sister's supposed to be here, but who knows, she's kind of a one that doesn't stay on task, let's just say that. That's a polite way to say it. Oh, so it's so 9.21 and we'll grab me a smoke, eat something. We still have fried potatoes left over, mom reminded me about, so I'm gonna get those for my breakfast. Uh, and I'm not going to drink a, a bottle. <laughs> Is that what Francine just drank? Yeah. Huh. Francelini just drank her babas. Drank her milky cows. Huh. <sighs> I'm tired of these people always parking in front of the damn house. Yeah, the blue thing, that's mine. And this white thing. I know who he is. He's a counselor. For the damn crackhead nut farm halfway house, where the hell that thing is. It's owned by the Catholic Church. One of the Catholic churches, or the. There's so many damn churches here. I didn't realize how many churches there are until I start doing this local st work with right away. So I thought there was like hardly anything. But you know what? There's just as many churches here as there are, are in Florida and Georgia. Just the whole Bible Belt. I mean, you can, you throw a rock and you're going to hit, hit a church, okay? But nice thing about here, though, even though there's all these churches, you don't have people Bible something onto you and making you feel bad and stuff. Yeah, that's one reason why I really like Nevada. You know, you can do what you want, but just don't mess up somebody else's party. It's pretty basic here. There you know.
the old, it's not the old west, but it's definitely the wild west. And if you mess up somebody else's party, then it's on like Donkey Kong, because they, they're not going to have that. Not the, especially the police, and then if a certain kind of people, if you're trying to mess up their party, they're not going to deal with you either. <sighs> Anyways, I gotta start my day. Alright, there's my potatoes. Got a little wiener in there. Oh god! So this guy's going in the microwave. Hmm, how long should I put it in there for? That little container right there. It, they're like, okay, this is already a strong microwave, but that makes it like even stronger because our old microwave, yeah, a thousand watts, that's pretty good. Uh, our old microwave before was like 400 watts, it's like a small one, so we need to like cover it up and make shit stronger, you know, heat it up faster. So we'll just do three minutes on high. Wee spinning around. And Christina's breaking down the bed. The guest bed. Just a, a blow up bed. I'm not sure how you deflate this. It. It's a little circle thing right there. A little circle thing yeah, right you there. Turn it down. Just turn it. Yeah. Already did. Oh, okay, yeah. Right yeah, the air's coming. <laughs> we kinda got a squeeze on it. To make it go a little bit faster. And Googie, these these guys say I don't know what they're calling me. Okay. Yeah, are you having fun over there? You should let me set the time lapse camera so it'd be like. Shh. Oh well, maybe next time. Yeah. So for the next however long, I gotta hear that damn thing. What do you guys say for yourself? Oh, uh, just making everything back to normal. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I come out, <laughs> go back to the room to get my smartphone, and I come back out and it's like this. <coughs> hey, we have a Christina burrito. We gotta, on, put, we gotta put some hot sauce on it. <laughs> And then, oh, we got, a, we got a dog in there too, so I gotta. <laughs> oh no, no, Timmy, don't leave. Lay down, Timmy. Yeah, so what you need to do to help get all that down that in, yeah, you need to get on this side to help push the air that way, because that's I need where to the. Get, on, get up before I do anything. Well, we're just gonna leave you alone with the dog and whatever you two do. That's it. Kind of like back in school, go. Two people go into a closet. <laughs> and her butt crack's hanging out. Her butt crack's always hanging out. <laughs> Alright, get my pepper on. Gotta get my ketchup on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And some cheese. Have to have my queso. This is so much fun. Sweet. Bing. How's it coming? No, I gotta eat and get ready for work. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't know how it's coming. It looks so messed up. I know, maybe lay down where you're folding it and rolling on oh, No. I know, I, it's going <laughs> down. <coughs> and it lay long ways where you were folding it and roll it like a tube of toothpaste. Hmm, that's a. So how's it coming now? Almost done? Yep. Butt crack. You know this is going on YouTube, right? She don't care. She's 
Just grab that big ash at first. And then there's a, a bag it goes in, and I guess it goes in a box, too. I don't know. Or are you going to put it back? It's not going to fit in the box. Welcome to Walmart. Christina speaking. I think you might have to eat a fold it one more time, maybe. Or maybe not. Meanwhile, Tiffy's over there <sighs> pretending he's a model or something. Are you a model? Wiener crawl. Are you posing? Well, off to work I go, finally. And I guess I lied about the wind, or the wind lied to me. Mom got a nasty gram saying there's dog shit in the front yard. And looking around, I don't see any dog shit in the front yard. I don't know. The landlord here, they like making up shit just so they can kick you out. I don't know. I don't see anything over here. Looking, 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 looking. No, I don't see any dog shit. I don't know. I see weeds though. I'd like to take care of those this weekend if it ain't too bad. Oh, yeah, I got the bag in there. Oh yeah, I was supposed to show Francine my my bag. Huh. Maybe tomorrow. Because when I get home lately, she's asleep when I get home. What am I doing now? I'm trying to reach back here in this carton. For two more packs of Winston's put in there <sighs> okay I need to really get to work now it's 1041 and I got to warm up my truck a little bit now where'd I put my keys oh put them in my pocket okay almost got hit check that out fucking idiot people there's definitely some uh, weirdness in the air at the house because Christina was really hoping that Dottie would move out here. You know, to be around her granddaughter, her only grandchild, period. So I guess uh, Christina's older sister, her baby factory is messed up somehow or she can't have kids or something. And meanwhile, Christina, yeah, you know, she's... She can definitely pop them out. That's not an issue with her. You know, but, you know, it is what it is. It's a big change, you know, coming out here. It's a big change for me. We well, moved to Reno from Central Florida. You know, basically the swamp with a whole bunch of orange groves and stuff. Coming out here to, like, a desert scenery. Way high elevation. That's a big change for me. You know, go through a bunch... Go from a bunch of green everywhere to a bunch of brown. Yeah, I can understand that. So, on Dottie's end, and I can see Christina's end too. It's just, you know, there's nothing I can really say. Yeah. Oh, oh well. Oh, I wish Dottie safe journeys on her trip back to Ohio. And, uh,. Whenever we see her again is when we see her again, because uh, we are not traveling anywhere except for local in town with Francine until she's bigger, maybe two or three years old. Plus, right now my, well, my yeah, plus right now my finances are not straight enough where I can just go take off for a week or two. And go traveling across the country. I can't do that. And Francine's still a little tenderoni. She'll be a tenderoni for a while, but right now she's like even more of a tenderoni. So big travels are not in Francine's near future plans. A little more long range. 
All right, man, I just made my last delivery. And I'm walking back to the truck. So I just had to use the bathroom way down there behind me. Huh, I'm at the baseball stadium. It has a bunch of brackets or something. I don't know, it's heavier as shit. Like 1,500 pounds. Yeah, too heavy. And then to get back here, I had to back my trailer all the way up down that way. Huh, adventure. And there's all kinds of like bums and shit down here. Fucking tent city and stuff. Get kind of scary. Kind of scary. Tell you what. Yeah, and there's one of them right there. Hoping to get into the uh, the ball diamond with his dogs. Screw that, dude. Oh, yeah, and right here is the train trench. And then over here on this side, on the other side of this building is the river. And I finally made it to my customer here in Bird Eye. Got to come down here to the dirt and flip around and come back. Just checked in with security, but I got to check in with shipping. And uh, they're pretty cool. They load you fast. They already know the drill and everything. So, I go get loaded. And of course, I can't show you nothing. But, you know, that part of it. But technically, I'm working right now. I'm driving a truck. I'm doing business. See, I understand what the hell he's talking about. Because I'm paid by the hour now. And they don't want me standing around and stuff, you know, recording. But the way I figured it, like I said a few nights ago, a couple few, I don't know. I was doing bobtail and transferring trailers around here and there. Yeah, as long as I'm working, I'm driving, I'm not, you know, it's some high area where I need to super pay attention to stuff. You know, like just driving here in the dirt and back there outside the baseball stadium. Driving super slow. I don't got to worry about hitting nothing or anybody. Whatever. Ooh. I think I just saw an otter. Ain't it? I don't think we have otters here. Huh. I don't know. But, yeah, so just finish the loop here and uh gotta keep working man keep working i think i don't finish my i did blah 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 blah, blah. i don't think i finished my train of thought but yeah <sighs> anyways oh yeah man it's finally lunch time it's 4 21 been sitting here for a few minutes just outside the yard as usual and uh, that was my only pickup. I called in and said, hey, I got like 10 spots available. And he says, well, I got everything covered already, so let's bring it in. Okay. So that's what I did. Brought it back. Took my pallet jack off. Yeah, I had to buy a pallet jack because the ones they got here. Uh, friendly way to say it, they're more than ready for retirement. They're pieces of junk. And, uh, yeah, just hanging out here. I don't know what's... He has planned for me yet. They don't really tell me nothing. Until I uh, sign back in on my little handheld deal. So I'm just going to eat my ham sandwiches. My chips. Watch a couple YouTube videos. And then uh, get back to work. Shit. I don't know. At least it's Friday. It's still a little bit windy. But. Uh, it's. But it's dry. It's, I don't have these random snowflakes, as you can see. Nice puffy clouds here and there. No clouds over there. Sun is shining. So it's not bad. Plus it's payday. It's payday, it's Friday, the weather's decent. What else can I say? It's just a good day. Well, that lunch is over. Obviously. I had to pick up this pup trailer that's behind me. It's going, it's full of uh, car parts going up to Moya Boulevard. So I'm going to have to load those, and after that, I have to go swap out uh, 
door six at the place where I normally take the wiggle wagons. Uh, a few warehouses down from that. All right, those uh, car parts are off of here. A bunch of returns. And now I got them to come over here and pick up door number six. What's behind door number six? A whole bunch of pipes and stuff. That's the first trailer right there. Woo -woo. Okay, took that pup trailer back. Now I'm up here with this 53 foot trailer. And I'm uh, going to swap it out for another 53 footer. And uh, the boss wants to know what the other trailer number is because he says there's two trailers and there is. There's that one right there and that one. And that one's I'm picking up. So I've got to give them this trailer number right there. And all these damn messages. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, let me get to work before I get in trouble. <laughs> All right, man, got that 53 all swapped out. Heading back to the yard now. And I got a, a trip waiting on me, or pre-plan, whatever. Ah, yeah, good using your blinkers. Thank you. Probably seen the camera. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that'll probably be my last one, because like five to eight right now. And then, go home. I wonder what they got going for me. Probably coming back up this way somewhere, most likely. Well, oh yeah, I didn't have to call uh, the boss and tell him what the other trailer number is. He just went ahead and sent somebody else up here. So that works. Save me uh, five minutes. And I'm heading back. Just did my very last load. It's, uh, oh hell. Electronics, you know, TVs, washers, dryers, stuff like that. Got to wait on all these damn cars so they have a free turn here. Oh, got a spot coming up. All right, so I'm going to see y'all when I'm in Clippy. All right, guys, I'm finally going home. I don't think I could have stayed there one more second, man. I had enough. Huh. So two days to be home. But Francina Lini's the Peppercini. And Christina and Mom. My brother, whenever he decides to show up, he works just as much as I do, so him and me really never see each other that much. Oh, excuse me. And then my sister Angelina. She never really shows up at the house too much anyway. Unless she wants something, or mom yells at her to come over because she needs something. <sighs> oh, too much work, dude. And it's 10 o'clock. Do you know where your children are? Well, like I said before, I know where my child is. She's at the house waiting for Papa Lattes. You remember them back in the day? 10 o'clock, you know where your children are? Before they would, uh, like, go dark or whatever for the night? When TV stations did not broadcast 24 hours? And you actually had to get up and turn the channel yourself? Ah, <sighs> memory. Oh, man, it feels so good to be home after a long day of work. Just chilling out with my favorite little four-month-old, almost five-month-old. Watching black guys hunting for ghosts. There's the ghost brothers. And it sure looks different in here with uh, the guest bed all put away and everything. Because you got kind of got used to, uh, to seeing it there. <sighs> well, it's gone now. And uh, we're all hungry. Francelini just had some milky cows, and she insists on sitting up. She don't want to lean back. She wants to sit up. So we're going to go to Rail City and get something to eat. It's menu items now in the restaurant because during the daytime it's just buffet. But after like nine or ten, until like 
I don't know, 8 or 10, something like that in the morning. And it's a uh, buffet all day. And then the menu all night. <sighs> yeah. What you doing, Francine? You're going to be in the video tomorrow. <laughs> Get that camera out of my face. <laughs> so cute. She's all changed and ready to go. She got your jammy jams on. It's a little bit cold outside. So it's always good to keep your baby warm. And But she still has her onesie on underneath her sleeper. She didn't want to take her fishies off. Well, at least that's what Christina said. I don't know how true that is, but... <sighs> so we're... What's going on with your foot over here? <laughs> there, maybe. <laughs> oh, okay. I think <laughs> it's all crooked again. Oh well, I think the sleeper's a little bit big for her. <sighs> yeah, so eventually she'll grow out of it. So we need to go get some more uh, sleepers and onesies and stuff that'll fit her. Cause she's just growing so fast. She, when I think back of how small she was. yeah, how small she was just four months ago, and she was in NICU, a little itty bitty thing, four pounds. Now this bottle monster's like, well, she her last doctor appointment was twelve pounds seven point four ounces, but I guarantee you, she's over thirteen pounds now. She's getting kind of heavy. And I was like, what, a week ago or two? Yeah. yeah, a week ago, a couple of days before Dottie came out. Yeah, it was no, like. It's the couple of days after my mom came out. Oh, yeah, it was a, the 24th. Last, 20, Friday. last Friday, the 24th. See, I don't know. It, I just set on my schedule so I can go do it, and then once it's done, I don't remember it. Francine <laughs> Vini is the Peppertini's. And she's the boss lady. You got anything to say? You take it up with her. See? Okay, so we are here. And I already know what I'm going to get. I'm going to get the French dip. But I'm going to doctor it up to be like a Philly. So I'm going to have to put cheese. Swiss cheese. Bell peppers. And onions. That's what I'm going to get right there. Mm -hmm. Oh boy, the food is here and it looks good. It smells good. Nibbling on the fries and they taste good. Right? Yes. Yeah. Yes, yeah. <laughs> and mom, she's doing like a Salisbury steak kind of thing. She basically ordered a double cheeseburger without the cheese, just had them put them on the plate. And a whole bunch of brown gravy. Well, how's it so far, Mom? It's really good, except for I'm disappointed at the size of the hamburger patties. Yeah, it's kind of, kind of small. That's Compared to what they normally put on there, it's like bigger than your head. And I bet you have a big head, too. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. That was such a delicious dinner tonight. I love my Philly steak. It was so good. Christina, she couldn't eat all of hers, so we had to box it up and bring the other half home. And seems in bed. And I'm going to bed too. And I will see you when I see you. Probably Tuesday. See you then.